So quick explanation on why the PS5 videos were so delayed. First, I bought a PS5 back in November, way before Thanksgiving, and it was supposed to arrive also before Thanksgiving, but FedEx decided to be stupid and lose my package. Great. Now it's December. I can't maximize the December ad revenue. I had to buy from a scalper because it was out of stock everywhere. I already tried to wait in the queue for the PS5 at Walmart twice and on Sony three times and I've never gotten one because they kept getting spammed from bots. Scalper bots. How great. And on the other hand, I decided to order the PS5 again because it was taking too long and then the seller decided to cancel that order about a day later because he was out of stock. So that was another day wasted. And then finally, I found a PS5 Digital Edition on eBay for $850. I bought it last night, but then this morning when I was checking it again, I realized, oh my god. But then this morning when I was checking the eBay order again, I saw that the guy was in a city only 30 minutes away from my city. So we decided to pick it up today instead of waiting for like another five days and possibly have it go lost in shipping again. So that means I have a PS5 now. And I did kind of vlog a little bit. Here's that. Anyway, I need to go pick up the PS5 now and I'm bringing my old TV that I used to have in my room to go test out the PS5 as well and I'm gonna bring a car portable battery charger thing that has an outlet in it so we can test it. And it's this thing, it's pretty heavy, but there's an outlet on it. Oh, it's up here. So the guy that I wanted to meet up with decided to pick an Ikea to meet up at for some reason. I don't know why because that's almost 30 minutes away, but you know, whatever. It's nearby, and now we're here. I also don't know if the guy's here yet, so I'm just gonna wait for him to reply to my message, and then we'll meet up. So I'm still not sure if he's here yet, but we're gonna set up, oh yeah, I'm with my dad if I did mention that yet, but we're gonna set up the TV to see if it'll work when he arrives. Good. Good. Go ahead and uh, check it out. I need the bag, though. Yeah, so that's the place it's okay if we, uh, yep. you pay for it, man, so you do whatever you want. It's so it's still sealed, right? Yeah, look, right here. Mm -hmm. You can open it up now. It's your, it's your, it's like I said, you've already paid for it. Okay, let me try. Yeah, go ahead, go for it. Gotta be careful in case someone wants to rob us. Yeah, it looks right. Flip. Okay, everything looks brand new right now. Right now, I don't feel like testing it here because. I don't want anyone to see the console, so we'll just bring it home and test it. And if it's faulty or broken, eBay can just give us a refund. And now it's time to go back home. Anyway, now that you've seen that, let's do the unboxing. Do I need to play the intro again? Eh, why not? I've also been rearranging my setup, as you can see, and getting rid of everything off the table, so that's why you're gonna see a bunch of wires on the floor for now. I'll have to get back to work on cleaning that up. For now, let's just focus on the unboxing. Get the chair out of the way. Oh no, this is not good. I have nowhere to walk. Okay, here's the slightly weird looking background because I'm doing all this cleanup for now, but let's open it. I'm gonna be opening it normally like everyone else should be opening it, but I'm gonna be abusively opening it in the video to smash. Yep, I'm smashing a PS5. I've reached that point where I have enough subscribers to smash expensive items now. Hooray! Taking it out. Let's just put that on the, to the side. And still this box is giant compared to the Nintendo Switch boxes. Okay, let's open. Taking it out. And here's the power cord. <laughs> Smells like Chinese sweatshops. When you smack the controller, you can feel kind of a little vibration. I'm assuming that's the motors inside, but I'll open the controller later. PS5. Quick start guide. I don't think I need to read that. If you want to read it, here you go. There, that's one page. Ooh, clean. HDMI, typical, no one cares about that. Taking it out and looking at the console. Yeah, you can see it in there, of course. Now for the grand reveal. This is not a very good way to hold it. Oh, 
the paper thing started to rip and I almost dropped it. Now it's not a good time to drop it. Okay, let's close this box. PlayStation 5. Oops. You can see me drop it later. Oh, I kind of dropped it. It's fine. I'm a tech destruction YouTuber. Three, two, one. Oh, that's more foam. Oh, there it is. Ooh, it's a matte plastic feel. And here it is, the super gigantic Wi-Fi router. And this is way larger than I expected. I know YouTubers said that the PS5 will be large, but I didn't think it would be this large. Like, I'm not even exaggerating. Okay, look at this. Here's a Nintendo Switch for comparison. It's like four times larger than the Switch if you were to make it 2D or something. Look at how thick it is. And here's the size comparison to a PS4. Oh, did I scratch it already? I scratched it with black paint already. I already scratched the PS5 <laughs> with the black paint from the PS4. How ironic is that? I break a PS5 from a PS4. Hold on, let me write that down. Should I put it on the stand? I mean, that wasn't the hardest thing. Anyway, let's plug it in and turn it on. Oh my god, the scratch is not even coming off. I really just scratched a PS5 with a PS4. Let me try a hand sanitizer. Oh, maybe that was way too much. Yeah, nothing is working. Now it just smells like hand sanitizer. PS5 acquired. Knock. Anyway, let's open the controller. There's still that vibration. What a beautiful controller. And it has battery. USB-C, very nice. Now let's use this very special HDMI cable directly from Sony. Just moving my wall-mounted monitor. Still has that same beep from the PS4. Ooh, uh, gotta move the camera. Oh no, I'm missing the moment. Oh my god, they put more effort into the animation than Sega did with Puyo Puyo Tetris 2. Connect your controller to the console. Can you shut up? I'm trying to do a video. Oh my god, my camera's running out of battery. Alright, I'm just gonna connect it and ignore the lady talking. Shove it in. My Wi-Fi name actually uses emojis and it actually shows up here. Yeah, there, that's PlayStation emojis for you guys. Take notes, Emojipedia. Uh, power options, uh, I don't care because I'm not keeping this. Update the software, I'll do that later. Account. Oh my god, how amazing. What an amazing experience. Look at all the games I own, guys. Huh, I wonder what this game is. Oh yeah, and it's very easy to stain the PS5 plastic. Very easy. So now I need to film on my phone because my camera died. Ooh, it shows everything I'm pressing. It's not showing the share button. Vibration. Ooh. It's not like the PS4 already had this. Why am I so amazed? Why is this so cool? Oh, I never knew it had multi-touch. Motion sensor is definitely not showing up correctly. Oh, why am I recording? Ah. Uh... Oh my god, it's Mario Odyssey! Interesting. Isn't the PS4 already capable of these graphics? Oh, it's a PlayStation 1. Oh no, I'm being sucked into a CD drive. Okay, this actually looks really cool. And it has vibration whenever I take a footstep. Excitement! Oh, that feels really cool. The PS5 controller can like resist to go down. Like it takes more effort to put this one down than it does to take this one down because of what it's doing right now. But what am I supposed to do? What? Yeah, now it's back to normal. So it knows when to do it. Huh? Is this a Nintendo Wii where all the games have to implement motion controls? Hi, little guy. Can I smack you? Oh, yeah, I definitely can. Yeah, I bought the PS5 just to do this, guys. I don't think there's anything else I can do. Or, like, I don't want this video to be too long. I mean, I did pay $800 for this. Maybe I can go a bit longer. 
Can I jump in here? Okay, getting sucked back into the disk drive. GPU jungle. Wow, look at all this. It really feels like it's 144 hertz right now, even though my monitor only detects 60. For some reason, it really feels like it's way smoother than 60. What else am I supposed to do here? Oh my god, I have PlayStation coins. Oh, it's a Goomba from Mario Odyssey. Oh, the wall has a boner. Okay, let's go up. Oh, I fell. This feels way too similar to Mario Odyssey, actually. Yay, died again. I think that's enough gameplay for now. Well, that was interesting. I guess it's just showing what the PlayStation controller can do. I guess it's just showing what the DualSense controller can do. I really like how the controller feels. Okay, the user interface is very similar to the PS4. Hmm, should I sign in? Update? Ugh, fine. And the controller probably has FBI agent stalking now. Let's try signing in. And I'm logged in now. Hopefully it doesn't show any private information on the screen. Wow, so much stuff in the PlayStation Store because the console has been out for seven years. Do my PS4 games even transfer over the ones that I paid for? Oh look, PPT2 is on the fourth one on PlayStation 5 games. Wow, look at all these amazing screenshots. I'm not gonna buy it because I already pre-ordered it for the Switch. I mean, Taiko no Tetsujin shows up. Huh, I can download Taiko no Tetsujin for PS4. So can I just download all of my games that I paid for? Tetris Effect and PPT1 shows up. Can I download them? Oh, yes I can. That's cool. But Tetris Ultimate does not show up. Maybe because that game sucks so much. I bet a lot of you guys are disappointed right now. Like, why did an Asian guy buy a PS5 for Tetris? I don't have any other games on this PS5 because there's no launch games that I want to play. So I just gotta stick with my PS4 game. So this is basically a PS4 review. I wonder if my save data is here. Nope, it's not. I haven't used a PlayStation controller to play this in a long time. Okay, there, that's your gameplay. I think I'll end the video here. Oh wow, all I did was press the PS button and it crashed. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye. Okay, yeah, I'm bad at this.